Hello everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome to my long promised <laughs> and hopefully awaited base tour. This is day 3175 of the mega base world that I've been building on since uh, fall of 2021. Welcome. Now, I did put out a day 1200 base tour, which covers most of the builds in the Oasis. And I didn't do too much building in the Oasis in the last 2000 days. So I'm just giving you a very brief overview. If you're interested in some of these builds, then I would urge you to check out the first base tour. I'm not gonna cover it here in too much detail, but there is one thing that I changed up here. Y'all remember that? Pigman fire farm. It was getting to be a pain in the butt during moonstorms, and I didn't really need pigskin and large meat at this point, so I decided to just take the whole thing down. I have yet to build in this area something new. Um, and also the Volt Goat Auto Horn Farm. I have also taken that down and move the Volt Goats to a place I will show you momentarily. So everything I've been working on building in the last 2,000 days has actually happened outside of the Oasis, starting with this build over on the right, this is the stuff that I built for the WX78 rework. So this is the main area where I, when I switch WX, I come here, I get my charge, and then I go over here. This is where I store all of my circuitry, pop in the circuits that I want, and then I continue building. You see, we got a lot of animals penned up around here, including bunnies, just for convenience of uh, running Jimmy and analyzing for bio data. So I got some got some slurpers over there. Those were fun bringing up from the caves. Down here, I could get a better view down here. Uh, we got mole worms in case I want to scan a mole worm or grab one for uh, making optoelectronic circuits. Yeah, I actually have a lot more projects that I have left to do in this world. It's nice having a mega base world where you can, as soon as new content drops, you can kind of get cracking on the new content and create builds for it right away without going through all the early game stuff. As long as we're here, I might as well show you. This is the latest thing I built. This is the Wickerbottom Library. And the idea behind this library was to build a single zone for each of Wicker's books. And I actually combined a few of them in a few places. Uh, you see, we got, for example, th these are the light books over here. These are the temperature books right here, bee que uh, the bee books, the angler guide books, here's applied horticulture and silviculture right up here, tentacle books, replete with tentacle lollies and desiccated tentacles and uh, the tentacle shadow manipulator, which actually works quite well for this build. This is kind of the centerpiece of this build, which is where I put the new lunar books. And down here are my new volt goat farms. This is actually super safe. I got the idea from a Hello Cal Puma base tour, where basically if you have a houndius in range of the Volt Goats, if they get charged and start uh, attacking walls, the houndius will aggro on them. The Volt Goat will try and get to the houndius, but can't because of the walls. So it's like a safer way to have Volt Goats set up. Over here, there's more of the Wicker Library stuff. This is the Pyrokinetics and the End is Nigh books right here. I'm definitely reusing the Wax Giant Pepper a fake flame for this fire pit. I'm stealing that for other builds. By the way, I'm using a server mod. This is called Not Enough Turfs, which allows me to use a huge variety of turfs for this uh, for this mega base. Kino uh, designed the mod. He's also the designer of the Architect Pack, which gives us the ability to make webbed flooring, which I was able to use for the, uh, the Overcoming Arachnophobia zone. I think it works really nicely for this build. And over here, I built a hound trap. I'm gonna give you the overview of it. It's kind of a larger build. Well, this is the general idea. I bring hounds here as much as possible so that I can deal with them with the help of my houndiuses. All of the stuff in the center of here is fireproof. So none of the flammable stuff starts really until these loon trees on the outside. I have yet to see a firehound burn any of them, so... It's been, uh, it's been working out so far. And I definitely wanted to build a hound trap here because I've been doing a lot of building in this biome, which used to be the triple Mac biome, still is in a way. This is my carnival zone up here. Here's the entryway and with the centerpiece of a walrus camp right in the middle. Got two houndies on each side of the walrus camp. They take care of the walrus. Don't worry, these guys regenerate health and they do a pretty, pretty decent job killing walruses every year. There you go. Yeah, I really wanted to design a special set piece for each of the games, including some of the new ones we got this year for Midsummer Carnival, like this one. Uh, There's one of the Egg Scramblers. Egg Scramble used to be my favorite game to play in the Carnival, but I since have, uh, we, we this year we got a much better way of earning tickets. I'll show you momentarily. 
here's another walrus camp up here. I switched to Wirt and built some merm houses, and they have yet to die. I think they regenerate health kind of like the houndiest, so five merms is plenty for uh, killing the walruses whenever they respawn. Okay, you see these guys, the spin wheels? This is one of the new games that they added, and they're unique because they don't require any input. You just put the coin in and they do their thing after a while, they spit out tickets. So it's a nice way of easily farming up a bunch of tickets as long as you have gold nuggets. These uh, ball drops, they work the same way. They're basically pachinko machines. And you can just run around, keep throwing coins into these guys, and uh, you earn tickets. Here's another egg scramble over here. And down here, I, just, I want to make kind of a combination of a few different, uh, a few different games. Yeah, the new bookshelf, wood wall skins that came with the wicker rework, they've been really amazing for a lot of these builds. For trim around, uh, for trim around turf, I still use the default wood wall skins, but uh, for making, you know, wood walls that are more part of builds. The bookshelves look way better. You'll notice I build a lot with astral detectors. When I show you the ruins later, you're gonna see where all the thulosite has gone. Up until, uh, it's before the astral detectors, there's really not a lot of long-term uses of thulosite. So now we've got something for me to dump all of my extra thulosite into in the form of free infinite light. Well, free debatable. All right, this is my moonstone setup. You see, I, I actually ran it recently. Uh, but this is great because I can farm moon rock with the pigs from the uh, from the pig houses while doing the moonstone event. I actually don't need to wait for it to complete. I just pop the star staff in, wait a minute, pull it back out, everyone turns into moon rock. I just gotta mine these guys before the next full moon, otherwise they pop out as were pigs and then, yeah. Here's an overview of the moonstone setup. I think there's something like 80 or 81 pig houses here. It's been plenty for moon rock farming. And as Wanda, I can come here during full moon, uh, during full moon, and kill all the were pigs from outside of these fossils, and they can't get me, and I can whip them to death if I need extra large meat. Running back through the oasis to show you what I built uh, on the other side, I also redid these corner spots once the moon key update came out. I wanted to plant these palm cone trees all over the place, so you're gonna see a lot of those, especially in these new builds coming up down here. Monkey tails for days, banana bushes for days. It's been so nice having tra uh, having a way of getting renewable, plantable reeds, especially with the wicker rework. It has been a godsend. Just built a couple of these zones around Antlion. Antlion spawns right there. That's where I fight her. Uh, down here is what used to be, well, what still is, the quad moose goose biome. I'm gonna zoom out for a second to show you. There are, I think, two or maybe no i'm sorry there's there's three moose spawners in here so these statues keep them uh keep them safely penned up actually no you know what i think this encompasses all four of the miski spawners i'm not totally sure i'll look into that later but here is the celestial portal zone a little different from last time you saw it yeah it was really fun transporting these uh <laughs> These were pigs over. Each one of these represents, well, used to have a telelocator focus underneath them. Most of them got deconstructed though. I really like using marble rounds for, uh... ooh, dang, I've been riding you for a while, haven't I? Yeah, I really like using marble rounds for trim, especially for like the lunar turf, which makes kind of nasty, uh, jagged edges. Well, yeah, that was quite a large build. I hate planting with evergreens most of the time because they eventually petrify. But, uh, yeah, for these zones, I felt it appropriate. Let's see. Oh, we did a lot of building over here. Haven't even cleaned up yet. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the Warley kitchen. This is where I go when I switch to Warley, and I gotta do some, uh, some industrial cooking. So here's where I make most of my food now. If I'm ever gonna make, you know, meaty stews or taffy for Wanda, I'll come here and, and switch to Warley to do it, because it's just so much faster. Here, a couple more carnival set pieces. I still got a build over there. And up here is my fish farm. I really regret building the the tapestry over here. This is supposed to be a throne room. I'm probably going to end up decommissioning it because we got a we got a moose goose spawner right up there. I guess that was the fourth one in the biome, not as close to the other ones. Um, but I also made the mistake of planting craftsworm houses too close to here. You see, one of these guys, yeah. This is the guy targeting the tapestry, which means that the cra the merm 
that I planted right next to the tapestry is not always going to be the first to target it, which is unfortunate. But yeah, if I ever need uh, freshwater fish, I'll come here, pop on the gem reader, and uh, let the catapults do their magic. I added a few more watches to these scaled chests, so I'm just going to briefly show you what I've added. This takes me to the Warley Kitchen. This takes me to the carnival that I showed you. This takes me to the Monkey Island, which I will show you very soon. And I believe these two take me to the Waterlog Biome, but I'm not totally sure. Um, and down here, did I add some more stuff? Yeah, this takes me to the goats. This takes me to the Bee Queen build. Oh, I guess this one takes me to the Waterlog. This takes me to Mosaic. And uh, I forget where, where this one goes, but yeah, and all the other ones are still the same. So the next place I want to show you is the dragonfly build. So let's take you over there. Got all of the lava ponds walled off. And I also use the uh, the, terraria, the terraria skin for the sea fishing rods. I think they go really nicely with these lava pools. You'll see them in most of those zones. This is a uh, magma road. Oh, sorry, molten road. So it is a speed boosting road for fighting dragonfly. I do actually do most of the fighting like right in this area right here. That's all the space I really need. And down here is just a little staging area for fighting dragonfly. And the next spot I want to show you is the Monkey Island. I did a lot of work. This was probably, yeah, th this is an expensive build. I redid most of the uh, most of the docks around this island. Hang on one second. But yeah, this is the center area, what used to be the original island. <laughs> uh, most of this build is actually docks, but there's the queen right there. I got a couple bananas planted nearby. I did a lot of planting of the uh, the waterlog nuts. Why the hell? I turn on god mode, damn it. But yeah, I spent a lot of gunpowder on this build. Just bulldozing most of what existed of the docks and then replacing the docks where I wanted them to be. At this point, a lot of my building on the mainland consists of uh, one of the big projects that I've been I've been focusing on is adding docks to the uh, all the the narrow rivers that keep a lot of the biomes of the mainland disconnected, or at least you got to run around to get to them. So I'm trying to fill in all those gaps now. One thing that I hope Clay adds is the ability to plant the uh, the new palm cone trees in the festive planters, because that's the only way I can get trees onto these dock spaces right now. You see, we got a lot of the lot of the waterlog trees planted around here. But this is a symmetrical shape. If you look at the overall shape, you can see kind of looks like a beetle. But yeah, I kept some of these monkey huts around for decor, just in case I want you know, the occasional cutlass. I'm surprised this guy hasn't grown yet, but I actually don't use this zone for uh, for farming figs too much because, yeah, I built the docks before I planted the trees. I think if you want to make a fig farm, then you want to wait for the trees to grow before you uh, put the docks down, just so you know where you need to have them in order to harvest the figs. And this is the portal. I can basically come here after doing moonstorms if I have any leftover... Moon gleams, I could just pop them into the portal and uh, collect all the loot after killing the monkeys and then giving some bananas to the queen. That is it for the monkey island. I'm gonna pop back home. And the next spot I wanna show you is, let's see, bee queen, where's bee queen? There we go. That's actually a wormhole right there, but the rest of the lure plant looking things are actually lure plants. With the not enough turfs, turf? You don't have to worry about lure plants. They all block lure plant placement. Oh, I see what's going on. Every time I use the backtrack watch, it actually disables god mode. But yeah, this is the bee queen zone. This is white stone road turf. It does provide a speed boost. So whenever I want to fight bee queen, here's this is the arena for it. And I got little roads leading off in both directions, just in case I want to lead the grumble bees away from bee queen a little bit during the final two phases. But yeah, this is what this zone looks like. Here's an overview. I have purposefully left this X marks the spot completely alone because it's filled with cutlasses at this point. If I dig it up, then I would just have to spend like a day burning all the cutlasses. It's easier to just deal with the monkeys if I get a pirate raid on the water and let all the cutlasses accumulate in there. If they ever stole something important, then I would have to dig it up and that would be a pain. So I'm at this point, I'm just trying to avoid letting the monkeys steal anything super important. If they get the occasional like 20 twigs, that's fine too. But I also never sail anymore without bananas. Getting towards Pig King. This is a little sapling farm that I built, which uh, it's a lure plant sapling farm. So if I need twigs, I can come here with wicker and read a bunch of silviculture books. I haven't actually been using this too much. 
I get plenty of twigs just like running around and grabbing all the twigs from the twiggy trees in the world. Up here is my year of the cat coon build. I think all the all the kit coons are in here. Here's an overview. Yeah, the conical trees actually worked really well when placed diagonally in these corner spots. And the uh, the red pouches make for very good decor. If you don't feel like planting flowers, I think they're a pretty decent substitute. Glomer also lives over here. I was tired of the buzzards eating all my Glomer goop when I was keeping it in the oasis, so this is its new home. Oof! Oh yeah, I turned on Hallowed Nights for a minute because I wanted to decorate some totally normal trees. I got some cleaning up to do. Oh, I don't think I showed you this. I returfed this entire biome right here with, uh, I think this is Legacy Dense Turf and Poisonous uh, Deep Forest from the from the, the mod and yeah I, I had <laughs> I had made some salamanders as part of uh, part of the gecko pen just using those to spook the geckos and when I don't need them I leave them over here with a thermal stone so most of the year they live in uh, in this biome got a couple couple odd skeletons kicking around planted some totally normal trees during the hallowed nights event I, I really love returfing entire biomes with like a certain theme. You'll see I have started to put down some docks connecting a few of the different biomes together. I'm gonna hop over to the ruins real quick just to show you what I built down there. It was part of the last base tour, but since this is a complete base tour, I, I figure I might as well show you the whole thing. All right, here are my ruins. This is where I get set up to clear the ruins in summer. Uh, I, just, I turned one of those squares at the entrance of the ruins into uh, into a build. I keep red caps planted down here for Wanda in case I need to get her age down quickly. Over here is the main pseudoscience station. Y'all can try and kill me. See how that goes. I'm actually curious, how much thulesite do I have in here? A decent amount. Loading up on gems. Yellow gems always accumulate. Still got some houndius I need to make. At this point, I, yeah, so I actually don't clear the ruins as Wanda that much anymore. I prefer to clear as WX because at this point, I don't need to mess with the clockworks. I don't need gears anymore and I really yeah I don't mess with the hammered clockworks either I I come down here looking mainly for thulacite and for extra gems so I'll you know I'll smash down all the statues I'll run straight past the clockworks they don't care and then I'll go kill fuel weaver and I believe that is all of the new builds I have to show you right now like I said I still have a ton of projects that I want to get done on this world I want to build a little swamp zone for wort I want to build a cave base. I got a cave base in progress, but I don't, I'm not really ready to show you that yet. And I want to have the mega base around for, you know, as new content updates come out, uh, that's going to inspire a lot of new building. So I'm keeping the world for now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see, uh, see you all in day 4000 for the next base tour. Hopefully I have some new builds to show you at that point. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in checking out the actual building of the world, then I encourage you to come on over to jazzysgames.tv. I stream this world over on Twitch and would love to have you join me. So that's it for the base tour. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.